hello <laughs> sorry about the noise in the background but I want to try out this Asda Swedish torch home fire they were selling this for six six quid wasn't it so I've got Mrs. Rob the Rover sitting over there we're in our garden by the way it's a very small garden isn't it how big do you reckon it is 12 foot by 12 foot but anyway yeah Asda was selling this Swedish log so we're going to see how it burns apparently you has got a thing under there to light it with so let's try it you're going to be on film I'm recording yeah she is going to be on film she can't wait we've got this weird cover and as I thought there is some sort of lighting thing in there. Smell it. Should we smell it? What do you reckon? What do you reckon, Mrs. Rob the Rover? There we go. It's a block of something. But I've got something else as well. You're getting cold. She's getting cold, so we better get this a light quick. So what I have here is everyone's favourite over the last 18 months. Alcohol. What was it? Anti-bag. <laughs> I want to see if I can get a spark going with the only thing that's good for me for lighting sparks. And don't laugh at me. It's my bare grills. It's a bit windy in the garden today, isn't it? The ferro rod's very good and it's, this strike's good. So let's see how we go. It says it's ready to burn. <laughs> I'm always very optimistic. Let's get some of this anti batch. Is that enough, you reckon? <laughs> It'll probably burn my hand off now. Here we go. Bear grills, don't let me down. It's sparking. Come on, bear. <laughs> I'm gonna see, I'm gonna run for the lighter in a minute, ain't I? Let's keep going. Come on, bear grills, don't let me down. I think there was something then. Ooh. It's going. It caught in the end, didn't it? it? Took a while. Will it light the, the Swedish log? Go on, my son. I'm going to leave this on there to burn as well. I'm going to set a timer. It's supposed to burn for two hours. It's supposed to burn for two hours. Let's see if it starts to burn. <laughs> Are we ready? I'm going, to wait, I'm going to wait until it actually starts to burn. I think it's going. I can definitely smell wood burning, can't you? Mm -hmm. Oh dear, look. We better shut. I'm gonna set the timer now. Start. So when it stops burning, that's when I will stop it. Mm -hmm. This is Eddie and Mrs. Rob the Rover. Look at Eddie. Eddie! Eddie! <laughs> he loves a chin rubbed his head. So does Mrs. Rob the Rover, occasionally. <laughs> it's a bit of a windy evening, isn't it? The blustery day became a blustery night. But yeah, it's going quite well now, I think. I'm going to leave all this on to burn, baby, burn. 
So yeah, before it burns, it says it burns for two hours. Swedish torch, perfect outdoors heating solution. Beautiful flame for up to two hours. And what you do on the other side of it, before it burns, <laughs> there's a QR code there. And what you do, you scan that and it tells you how to light it. So there you go. I don't think that's far off going, do you? Yeah, but yeah, it's burning well. How long's it been? Let's have a look. How long have you been burning? Five minutes. That is. So basically, I'm guessing that this Swedish torch is basically a log with a couple of chainsaw cuts across the middle and a fire star and the um, fire lighter inside it. And uh, six quid for that. It's good though, I like it. I haven't got access to a chainsaw. <laughs> I think the paper's about to go. The info. It's pretty good, I like this. Let's see how long it's been. How long has it been? Oh, pardon me, sorry. I've had a few. Eight minutes, 40 seconds. There it goes. I think it's caught. Oh, let's put it on the top, it's sort of like sacrificial. Oh. In my old fire bucket. Seen a lot of action that fire bucket has. I'm quite partial to a bit of life and death. Sometimes it's a life and death situation. Vocation, 6.5. This is my fourth one. Good job I'm in my garden. There's a lot of noise going on in the background, I'm afraid, but um, I was going to do a little test of that Miltech Recom tent in this garden because the garden is very small. Basically, what you see behind me is the same as what's in front, you know, it's a very, very small garden, and uh, I was just gonna, I was gonna test it out here, just to see how it performs in a confined area, controlled confined area. I'll tell you what, this Swedish torch is really good. I'll turn you around, and have a look. And I will say, there's not an awful lot of smoke coming off of this. As you can see, not really. It's my derelict shed. This little bit came with it. I think it's only fair we should commit it. To the Swedish torch. It's gone. Look at that. It's pretty good actually. I'm really impressed with this. Really good. How long has it been? Probably not as long as I think because I'm quite pissed at the moment. Uh, 23 minutes in burn. It's pretty good. Oh, windy. Just got a face full of that. So it's been half an hour. How long do you think it's going to last? How much longer? She doesn't think it's going to last two hours. I don't think it's going to last two hours. I think maybe another half an hour, 45 minutes. So what is it at the moment? Let's have a look. It is 20, nearly 27 minutes at the moment. It's been burning. So you don't reckon? Yeah, don't reckon it's going to go two hours. I've got a feeling she could be right actually. 
Oh, no, I mean, it's going to last two hours. Did it say last up to two hours, or did it say? Well, let's have a look. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Still got. We still got. <laughs> still got the charred remains. The charred remains say. Beautiful flame for up to. Up to. Up to, to mind you. That means it can last at any issue. time. To, yeah, it could extinguish any time before two hours, which means quite possibly in half an hour. But it's a very, I quite enjoy it. <coughs> it's a nice. Um, it looks good. Tracks off heat. It's a nice hard wood, I guess. It looks good. It does look good. Yep, have a look. There we go. Tell you what, I'm going to properly burn this now. There we go. Ooh! Holy Christ! That went up, didn't it? That almost looked like it was impregnated with something. It's gone now. What in the name of Sam Hill was that? <laughs> These uh, logs may need to go. Oh no, they're still pretty solid. That's good. Yeah. Well, the flame's gone out, but there's still a lot of wood there. So let's see. I think we need to fan it or something. Mrs. Rob the Rover. She's feasting at the moment. There's still a lot of wood there, and it's still quite ooh, solid. Sorry. <laughs> See, that's still quite hard wood, isn't it? That's just going to smoulder for ages, isn't it? Really. Let's <coughs> chuck a, a bit in from the um, Norway maple that towers above our garden. Mrs. Rob the Rover is enjoying a chicken, a chicken feast, aren't you? Mhm. Mm I can't speak because I'm mouthful. <laughs> See, when the wind gets in it, it takes it up. But I've got this Flex Tail Gear USB pump, fully charged. I don't need to do it now, do I? The wind's done it. Let's try it anyway. Where's the button? <laughs> okay, that did the job, didn't it? Mrs. Rob the Rover got a face full of smoke while feasting. She doesn't want to be filmed feasting, do you? <laughs> no, you don't, do you? That's fair enough. Look at this, let's do it again. You power, you could power a furnace with this. How cold is that? How long's, how long's it been burning? Yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Rob the Rover treated me to this. And had the idea of using it. And had the idea of using it as a. She's full of all the all the good ideas. I don't know good ideas whatsoever. <laughs> Been burning for 42 minutes. Very, very effective. That was a 
good idea with the old um, blower. Mm. Mrs. Rob the Rover. <laughs> Still burning. I've got Mrs. Rob the Rover scraps. They're doing me. Mmm. I feel another blow from that blower coming on. What do you reckon? <clears throat> so this is 47 minutes and it's nearly gone really. Let's see if I can uh, so it's still pretty solid. Really. So I'm just chopping it with my bare grills knife. Yeah. Um, yeah, 47 minutes. Won't last much. I don't think it lasts two hours. Sorry about the darkness. But it's 50 minutes and it's just smouldering at the moment. So let's get, should we get the fan out again? Mrs. Rocker Rover. Yeah, oh look, she's got a torch on. She's assisting me in my video creation. I can see it. Here we go. Ooh. I don't want to get it too close. So, see, these are still really. You think they'd fall down, wouldn't you? So I'd say, 51 minutes, and it's more or less smouldering, really, isn't it? Yeah. Would you agree, Miss Mrs. Fox? Well, same. Yes. I agree. She agrees. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's good to get a fire going. And then you can just add bits of wood to it. And this is from the tree, the, the Norway maple. Gives me a taste of the countryside in the middle of the city. Don't you agree, Mrs. Rob the Rover? No. She does. No. She's saying that. She's just too cool. She's just too cool. So what I'm going to do, the bits that fell down in the wind right, into our garden from the Norway maple. It's going to burn, baby, burn. There we go. Okay. See if that gets going. Thank you, Mrs. Rockerover, for the talk. I can't get more my 700 lumen torch. Maybe I will when this gets done. That's my beer. Oh. Oh. Gutted, she just knocked my beer. Go and get me another one. Go and get me another one. She just got my 700 lumen. Just as you went in, a big gust of wind came up and ignited it. But this is the 700 lumen torch I've got for it. It's a very, very small one. It goes on my keyring. It's very effective. There you go. Let's get the volume bomb. Oh, yeah. God. You can forge a gladius with that. <laughs> as long as you catch it plugged into it. Oh, thank you. Wait my face with the old 700 lumen. Not only did she spill my beer, but she shone a torch right in my boat race. The wood, the wood is quite wet. But that's really effective, isn't it? That's really good. The old, uh, what was it? I can't remember what it was called. Flex, flex tail gear. I've seen other ones, they've got a torch built into it, but 
then again I've got a torch like that on my keys anyway so what I need is that pump baby the pump do like a good pump <laughs> Is Eddie again? Eddie. Did you get me another beer? No. Why? Because I've got the cat instead. He loves chin wrap, is it? He loves a chin wrap. Anyway, look. The old uh, flex. Oh God. Life and death is having an effect on me, Kerry. Mm -hmm. Flex tail gear pump has really done a job. On to fire. Oh, baby. Yeah. Ed. Ed. Talk about my sport cat in the whole wide world. Isn't he? He is very spoiled. He is very, very spoiled. I can hear laughter. Coming from next door. Baby. Ready the cat. Right, so here we go, I think I've added a little bit to it, but it's really dying down now. Just smouldering. Which is good, it still gives off a lot of heat, doesn't it? Yes. Gave off a lot of heat. So, uh, yeah, what? Hang on, let's get the... Uh, let's get the old timer out so we can do an official thing. Uh, one hour and three minutes ago, I'll look at that. So, yeah, I mean, it's good. You can keep it a fire going with that, couldn't you? Easily. You know, it burns for a long time on its own. And then when it gets down to this stage, if you want to keep it going, just add more wood to it. Yeah, it's really good. But not two hours on its own. It wouldn't burn for two, up to two hours, no. Not quite, up to an hour maybe. And I've added a bit, little bit to it, so. And I've got to shine the light in our faces. So this is me, Rob the Rover, Mrs. Rob the Rover, with Eddie the cat, chilling out there. And the Swedish torch from Asda, which I quite enjoyed. I quite enjoyed it, didn't you? It was, it was very, very, very pleasurable sitting in the garden with uh, Asda's Swedish. But anyway, till the next. No, sorry, drink the drink. <laughs> the life and death is having an effect on me now. Till the next time when we're roving about. Wherever it may be, see you then. Bye. <laughs>